everybody's all excited about the Trump tariffs on steel and aluminum. First of all, President Obama put a 550% tariff on Chinese road steel. The economy did not come to a halt. Everything was fine. It was a negotiation ploy. We got some things out of the Chinese. The Chinese got some things out of us. So when Obama did it, it was fine. Trump's doing it. Uh, everybody's having a bit of a temper tantrum. But let's take a look at the politics of this. Now, you've got a midterm election. Uh, the senator from West Virginia, a Democrat, that's coal country. It's also steel country. It's going to help the Republican candidate in West Virginia. Pennsylvania, Democratic senator, up for re-election. Pennsylvania, big steel state. It's going to help the Republican in Pennsylvania. Ohio, steel state. Democratic senator up for re-election. This is going to help the Republican senator from Ohio. That's three Republican Senate seats, three potential Republican pickups uh, that this tariff is helping. Minnesota. You don't think of Minnesota as a big steel state, but taconite, still very important up in, uh, in Minnesota. It's called the Arrowhead region. This could be very helpful. You have two Senate races and a governorship open in Minnesota. If you can drive up the price of taconite, increase jobs and increase paychecks, and Trump can be seen as doing something for the state of Minnesota, that's two seats, two Democratic Senate seats that could flip Republican. That's five seats that could flip because of this. Is Amy Klobuchar a hard sell? Yes, she is. Will Trump come to Minnesota? Yes, he will. Minnesota, he'll he'll come he'll come to Minneapolis. He'll go to Northern Minnesota. He's going to be in Ohio. He's going to be in West Virginia. He's going to be in Pennsylvania. He's going to pound those states hard. And this steel tariff and this aluminum tariff could turn a one to two point Democratic victory into a one to two point. Republican victory. That's how important tariffs can be. And it shows that he cares. He told his voters that he was going to impose tariffs. He was going to look out for America first, their jobs first. He's put a tariff on. I don't know what the effect of those tariffs will be come election day, but he'll use it as a negotiating ploy in NAFTA, and he'll use it to help gain Senate seats once again, think about it. West Virginia, Democratic seat, could flip because of the tariffs. Ohio could flip to Republican because of the tariffs. Pennsylvania could flip. Big steel state, Pennsylvania, could flip because of the tariffs. Minnesota could flip two states. Now, the media will tell you this is a really dumb idea. You're picking up points. <laughs> Excuse me. Trump is picking up points for the Republican Senate candidates in five seats that currently are held by Democrats. That is just good old-fashioned political smarts. It means Trump is learning to play the political game. It doesn't mean he's stupid. doesn't mean he doesn't know what he's doing. doesn't mean he's going to start a trade war. But tariffs are good politics, particularly when all politics are local. Local to West Virginia, Pennsylvania, Ohio, and two Senate seats in the great state of Minnesota. That is my opinion on the Trump tariffs. I think politically they're extremely smart. They're going to benefit the president in the midterms, and they can benefit the president in his reelection bid. I'm Tim. You're watching Tim's TV. Whether you love me, whether you hate me, tell everybody about me. Hit that subscribe button. Tell the world about me and tell the world why Trump could pick up five Democratic Senate seats for the Republicans due to this tariff. And if you have a different opinion, feel free to share your opinion in the comments below.